Good morning, students. I hope you are fine taking good care of yourselves and staying at home. Today's session is about lesson 14.3 paragraphs. We are going to cover page number 815 to 818, and your homework is assigned on Pearson Online. So just log into your Pearson account to do your homework. So let's have a look on today's objectives, what we are going to learn in this lesson. So we will learn how to draw bar graph, how to draw bar graphs to display and organize data and use height of the bars to compare the data. Okay, so we will learn about the bar graphs in today's lesson and we can connect it with previous lesson as we displayed and organized the data in tables and then we plotted the data where excellent on the number lines and how how we can tell that which item is more in quantity by looking at what excellent the number with more circles or more dots was telling us that this item is more in quantity so in today's lesson we will compare the bars the long bar would tell us that this item is more in quantity and the short bar will tell us that this item is less So how can you draw a bar graph? How can you display and organize the data? And how can you compare the data using the height of the bars? Let's have a look on the video. Use the table to make a bar graph. First, write a title and label the graph. The title is favorite activities. The labels are music, dance, art, and drama. Why is it important to write a title and labels for the graph? One reason is so you can tell what the graph is about and how it shows the information. These labels tell you what the activity is. The numbers tell you how many children like each activity. Let's color boxes for each activity to match the data on the table. How many children like drama the most? Select your answer. Six children like drama the most. What does the graph show about music and art? The graph shows that three children like music and one child likes art. Do the numbers on the table match the numbers on the graph? Yes, the numbers on the table and graph do match. You have learned how to use a table to make a bar graph. Okay, so lesson 14.3, bar graphs, page number 815. So what is the problem given? The graph shows the number of birthdays in each season for a class. How can you use graph to write the number of birthdays in this table? Tell how you know. Okay, so one bar graph is given to us and a table is given to us, but there is nothing written, no data is written in the table. We have to read the bar graph and then we have to display the data in the table. Now, what is the label of the bar graph? What is the label and what is the title? Quickly tell me. Excellent. The title is Birthdays by Seasons. Okay. The class is having how many birthdays in each season? 
And what are the labels? Excellent. The season, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Okay. So here we have the numbers 0 to 11. These are the excellent number of students. This is number of students. And on the side we have seasons. Okay. Now, the first cell or the first box in the table is labeled with spring. Now here I have to write how many students had their birthdays in spring. So how can I write that? Quickly tell me. This blue bar is telling us the birthdays they celebrated in spring. So what is the number? Excellent, it is seven. If I draw a line from the end of the bar down to the number of the students, so it will give me number seven. Excellent. So how many students had the birthdays in spring? Excellent, seven. Okay, now tell me how many had in summer? What you will do? Excellent. Draw the line from the end of the bar to the number of student and how many? Excellent. Ten. Okay. And then how many celebrated birthday in fall? Excellent. Draw the line from the end of the bar to the number of students. And how many students? Excellent. Four. Okay, now tell me for the winter what we have to do. Excellent. Draw the line from the end of the bar to the number of students. And how many we have for winter? Very nice, two. So how we display the data in the table? You can write, I followed the line from the end of each color bar to the each number and wrote the number in the table. So draw the line from the end of each color bar to each number and then we have written it in the table. Okay, so next page. Use the table to complete the bar graph, then use the bar graph to solve the problem. Okay, now here we have a table. Okay, so what is the title of the table? Excellent, favorite pet. And how many pets are displayed in the table? Very good. Cat, dog, excellent bird, and very nice turtle. Okay, so here, what is this? Four, six, two, and three. What is this? Excellent. These are the number of students. This means four students like cat, six students like dog, two students like excellent birds, and how many students like turtle? Excellent. Three. Now, this is the bar graph. What is the title? Excellent favorite pet. And here we have to write number of students. Very good. And the graph is labeled with excellent the pets. Okay.
Now what we have to do here, we have to draw the bars. If you look here, what is this? Excellent cat. And how many students like cat? Excellent four. So there is a bar. If you draw the line, it is showing you that four students like the cat. Now we have to draw the bar for the dog. So how many students like dog? Look at the table. Excellent, six students like dog. So where do I have six on my graph? Here it is, okay? So what I will do, I will draw a line from the dog to number six, and then I can draw my bar. Isn't it easy? Now let's draw the bar for the bird. And tell me how many students like bird? Very good. Two students like bird. So where do I have two on my graph? There is two on the graph. Excellent. Now what I will do? Excellent. Draw a line from two to the bird and then I will draw my bar. Okay, now for turtle, quickly tell me how many students like turtle very good three students what i will do now in next step yes mark number three on the graph and then very nice draw the line from three to the turtle and then the final step Excellent. Draw the bar. Very good. So this is how your bar graph will look like. Now we have to answer some questions. So question one, how many students choose cat? How many students choose cat? So look in the bar graph. Look at the bar graph. Excellent, four. So here it is mentioned four. Now question two, which pet did the most student choose? The most means, excellent with the longest bar, with the longest bar. So look here, which pet has the longest bar very good dog so most students choose dog excellent okay so the next page is independent practice the bar graph is given here you have to read the bar graph and then answer the questions given below so now you have assessment for today's lesson look at the bar graph in item 10 so you have to Consider the graph given in question number 10, which is correct. Choose all that apply. So just read the graph given in question number 10 and you have to choose all the options that are correct. So that's all for today's lesson. I will see you in the next video with a new lesson. Till then, take care and stay safe.